Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I thought the song come kind of close to finishing that time. Ta-da! Oh my god, I'm not wearing a hat. Take that shit off of that screen. How incredibly embarrassing. I'll never live this down. Oh yeah, that looks better. Much better without my bald ass head. Oh, camera. Focus. Thank you. Alright, so today we're playing more Paper Mario Color Splash. We are nearing the end, but the levels are starting to take freaking forever. So, uh, who knows how many episodes we have left at this point. Because I thought we'd already be, like, halfway through this last set of levels. And we're on the first one. Like, halfway through it. If the save even counted. I don't know. It might start us over on that level. That would suck. But we'll find out. Um, let's get some game audio. Uh, oh, hold on. I need to change the properties on this camera again, even though I just changed them. Oh, wait, though. Properties are still right. Why does it look so terrible? Okay, maybe the focus needs to be lower. Or exposure, rather, needs to be lower. And now the image is gone, so I can't tell if it looks good. Also, is that... Yeah, the camera's not quite in the right spot there. That looks a little bit better. I feel like it looks really muddy, though, for some reason. Like, way more so than usual. <clears throat> Sorry, usually I do this before I start the stream, but I'm already running late, so you guys get to watch me calibrate a freaking camera. Yeah, that looks really bad right there. What if I take the exposure way down? That's maybe a little dark, but at least it looks... <clears throat> Excuse me. At least it looks clear and not muddy, so let's just go ahead and go with that. And yeah, it's fine. Um, oh yeah, I gotta move my... I, d I probably forgot to move my camera back up the last couple of streams so that you guys can see the coins, huh? Oh, well. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Jump in there. Uh, let's put my screen on the correct screen. So I can see what I'm doing. And let's find out if we're still saved in the middle of this level or if we're going to have to restart it. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I didn't bring any water with me. Okay, hold on, I'm immediately going to pause the stream so I can go grab some water. <laughs> oh good, it did start us in the middle of the level. Oops, just immediately wasted paint there. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm back. I realized uh, just now that I should have probably muted the mic when I left, but that's okay. You guys probably heard a lot of clicking and clinking there. I just didn't want you to see uh, my booty walking away. I don't need you guys all turned on in the chat. Let's get back to camera. There we go. All right. Set it up a little too far to the left, but that's okay. Mm, the angle's not good either. Crap. That's better. 
Okay, <clears throat> I remember we got super... Oh yeah, we ran into what is essentially a bug where you can get stuck. You can set yourself up to get stuck if you go to the right over there. And then you just have to murder yourself. It's super cool. I love it. Okay, wait, this is where I... Oh. Oh. So that's just the way back. Oh! Oh, I forgot about these jackasses. Don't have a whole lot of ice flowers here. But I'll use the one I do have. Oh, that's only gonna hit four enemies, huh? Well, that's some crap. Does big ice flower hit more than four? No, it's just up to four. That's some serious crap. Hold on, I'm just gonna try to run. Because I really don't want to waste two flowers on a fight that isn't gonna reward me with much. But of course, I'm just gonna take a bunch of damage, and then I'm gonna decide that I have to do the fight anyways, because I can't afford to keep taking damage. Because this game is um, amazing. Amazingly super fun. <clears throat> Can I jump on fire dudes with iron jump? I don't think so. No, you know, I'm just gonna try to flee again and hope that it works because this is pretty ludicrous. Yeah, screw that enemy. That was some crap. <clears throat> okay. So let's save now that we're in a slightly worse position than our last save. That's very smart of me. Okay, so maybe I'm just not supposed to go this way. I think there were other directions I could go. I just don't remember exactly. Hmm. <clears throat> I remember coming down here and being like, oh, should I go left or should I go right? But it looks like left just leads back down. <clears throat> but what's over here? Because that leads back down, right? Yeah. To where we just were. Sorry, I have something caught in my throat, I think. It's very annoying. Oh, there's a fan replica down here, that's all. That's nice, I guess. But yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do to the right, right at the second. You see what I did there? A little bit of very clever wordplay. <clears throat> boop, 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 boop. So I guess we will go to the right here and check out that big room again, make sure there's nothing that we missed. But be very careful while we're in there, because I do not want to get stuck in there again and have to murder myself. That made me very unhappy yesterday, believe it or not. Get out of the way, dude. All right, I gotta go down here. <clears throat> oh, lava, no. Oh no, this is bad. I gotta go back. Either that or jump on these guys' heads like a big dum dum. Okay, here we go. This is the opening. This is it. This is to earn. Oh no! I fell down the dumb hole. Oh, that was very unwise. Okay. Well, we've got quite a few iron jumps in here at least. Let's go. Double iron jump. Hmm. <clears throat> And I guess just another double iron jump? I don't know. I don't know if just one iron jump will even kill these guys. I hope it does, but I have no idea. Oh wait, jumps don't even affect them, huh? I just messed up so hard. Oh, you gotta knock them over first, you big dum-dum. Oh wait. Is this gonna send them flying? Yeah, never mind. I'm super smart dude that totally knew that was coming. Oh, that angle was still not great. A little slanted. I think that might be better. I hope. Out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. There might have also been two doors over here. I really don't remember exactly. I wish we had had time on Wednesday just to finish this level out, but 
A, I was very frustrated with the game and was ready to not play it anymore. And B, uh, I was already at like two hours and 15 minutes or something. Something absolutely insane like that? Who in the world would ever stream for two hours and 15 minutes? No, I'm just kidding. I would if I had all the time in the world. There are so many games that I play off stream and so many hours I spend at work that are just wonderful. Okay, so, oh my god, this is the room where I'm pretty sure there's nothing we can do here yet. <clears throat> I'm gonna run back through here real quick, though. Last time I killed all these stupid hammer bros, or fire bros, because I thought I needed to. Because here's the thing, we can paint this. Oh wait, oh, we can just jump over to that and paint it, huh? Oh, maybe not. No, it doesn't look like it. That's too big of a jump. I probably need to get there from somewhere else. Because, like, we can paint this so that we can call the dragon in. And actually, it's probably good that we came in here. Because even if we do have to go through a different room, um, it'll just be good to have the dragon, like, be able to bring the dragon over this way. I hate that you have to take that hit. I'm going to get a freaking game over. Jesus. Um, so I can fish and summon the dragon there, but it doesn't seem like, well... There's somewhere to dock the dragon over there, it kind of looks like. But I swear I couldn't get through there. Maybe I was just really stupid yesterday. Oh my god, I keep walking into the freaking lava. Please stop doing that. I'm gonna get a game over. The world's dumbest game over. Don't eat all the platforms. Okay, there has to be a way to get through here. There's no way they would just let you eat all the platforms and then be screwed. Well, there's health. I didn't need, didn't need that. Okay, yeah, there is a way to get that. So never mind, all of my uh, blaming of the game was not founded. Let's make sure we eat all these guys since now we know that there's a way to go. Eat it, fire bros. I don't get that big ass mushroom too. Get off. Please? There we go. Okay. Oh my god. Fireball from the ceiling. Well, at least it's only four. I'll just use my ice flower. Oh my god, and I effed it up. Why would I F it up? I don't understand why I did that. <clears throat> and then I have to up all the blocks. Oh, things are just going oh so well today. <clears throat> I need some kind of mushroom. Probably don't need a big mushroom. Or a mega mushroom, but a big mushroom will be fine. Oh, I'm out of blue paint. There's like no blue paint in this place. That blows so hard. Overkill! Man, every cough is such a huge spike on the mic. Sorry, guys. Hopefully the fan's not touching the mic. I just turned at a weird angle. It's probably picking up the fans from the computer. Oh, my God. I hate these things. Ah, leave me be. Oh, I ran right back into him. I don't want to keep wasting all my ice flowers, man. Also, I don't even have blue paint to paint them anymore. I have one big ice flower that's already painted. I'm just gonna try to flee. Oh wait, did it throw away? Oh my god, did it really throw away my mushroom card because I killed the enemy before I could use it? That's such trash. I can't believe they made two games with this trash combat system. It's staggering. Just gonna keep trying to flee. I don't want to fight these things anymore. Uh. I'm gonna keep doing that too early. Uh, that's good. It's weird that they don't all attack every turn. You better run away this time, Mario. Jesus, good lord. 
Invincible for a short time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna take 30 damage here, huh? Oh, unless I leave some way back at the beginning that I need to paint. I wanna paint out here first. I wanna make sure it's like 100% painted up here. That way I'm ready to run. Oh, yes. Good job, me. Leave me alone. Oh, you little bastard. I think he actually hit me, too. Oh, no, just started the fight. Okay, so I'm going to play it kind of safe here. I'm going to use a big mushroom. And then use my fully painted big ice flower. Okay. Oh my goodness, I really want all that stuff. Oh, I want the hammer. Thank you. No, it wasn't worth getting another fight for. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Oops. Stop it. I want you to head off, please. Thank you. All right, now we're over here, finally. No, my specially trained fire bros. What have you done to them? Oh man, I'll never stop Mario at this rate. Coach, put me in, coach. You fool, you haven't properly warmed up your shoulder. Come on, coach, give me a chance. Oh, thanks for the blue paint, dude. He just dies. Oh, that's fun. What was that? Throw your fastball, man. Not this off-speed nonsense. Well, so much for that team. Now I've got to start from scratch. Oh, that's not nearly enough blue paint. Man, would it kill Bowser's recruit just one minion with a decent throwing arm? Ooh, double big jump. Strong. Okay, I remember where this tunnel is, but I haven't filled this with lava or anything yet, so I don't really know what the point was. What did I accomplish here? There's where you can hop on the dragon's back, but only if the lava is there. I didn't like kill anything or do anything. <laughs> That whole path was just to unlock the shortcut back, but there must have been something I was supposed to do. Something else I was supposed to do, like, over here in this other room that I missed. There has to be. <laughs> oh, please tell me I'm missing something. Screw you, dude. Is there maybe, a, like, a wall I can break somewhere that makes the lava flow into the other room? Does not seem like it. Maybe this is just like a trap room and you have to go through all this bullshit just to get back out because there is no other way out other than this shortcut, which I guess I shouldn't even call it a shortcut because it's the only way back. Oh. Hold on. Maybe I can do like a cutout in the middle of this? Oh no. It def definitely looks like I need to cut something out on that big block there. Oh, I can probably do it from the side. That's, that's it. I don't know what to put there though. Joink, joink, joink. Oh, oh, that looks like a bottle. I have a bottle opener from like chapter two, I think. That's probably what we need to do here. I'm like waiting for something to pop on my top screen. Okay. 
bottle opener it is. That's from like the Colosseum, which I think was the last level of chapter two. That's crazy how long they want you to hold on to that. Oh yeah. You telling me that's not sexual? This game is so sexual, it's ridiculous. Children's game my ass, Nintendo. Okay, now we can go through the pipe and summon our dragon friends. Actually, there's a toad over there we gotta go rescue for sure. I don't know that I care too much about grabbing all these small stacks of coins. But then we'll get the paint star. So we got a paint star real fast in this episode. That's nice. I mean, we did half of the work last episode is the only reason for it, but still. Yeah, I don't care enough to grab all of these. I just wanna grab this guy. Help, somebody help me. Whoa, Mario, riding Dragadon? This is too much. I mean, first I fell into a volcano, which was super scary. And then I'm pretty sure Dragadon ate me. Anyway, it seems I was not actually eaten. Unless this is a fever dream, or the afterlife. Either way, I have a lot to think about. Would you mind giving me a ride out of this place? I guess I'll give you a ride over to here. And then you can leave on your own, right? Because I want to go grab my star. What a day. Nearly eaten by Dragadon and then rescued by the same Dragadon. And I met Mario. I'll be telling my grandkids about this day for sure. Toad number 43. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I keep thinking it's going to be a border like almost every other surface in the game. But it's not. Okay. Let's get our paint star. Keep wanting to say shine sprite. Good boy. What a way to travel. That was exhilarating. And look, a mini paint star. Alright, why don't you give the poor guy his magma burger? He's done enough for us today. This is, would it be really bad if I said no? Is he gonna, like, kill me if I say no? Because I feel like I have to come back to this level and I'm probably gonna need to ride him again. I don't want to go buy another burger because that level is a pain in the butt to get through. Hold on. I, I really gotta, I gotta look this up, guys. Because I don't want to give it to him. Okay, the guide says give it to him and then go buy another one. That's fun Let's go back through Fort Cobalt again for like the sixth time Thanks for the ride. Please enjoy your tasty burger. Love you. Bye Okay, hold on I have the guide open and it says the second Paint Star just opens a shortcut to Plum Park, so I don't think I care. You know what I mean? Although there is something I'm missing in Plum Park, and I wonder if opening that second portal is essential to it. Oh, well apparently there's a very easy one to get. And it would be nice to have that shortcut. I don't know if it's worth... Oh, letter has a right for me. I don't know if it's worth going all the way back to Port Fort Cobalt and doing that stupid gate puzzle for the umpteenth time. We'll check that letter later. I don't really care that much. I guess we'll go to Fort Cobalt. We're missing a lot of... Uh, you know what? No, we're too close to the end of the game. There's no reason to bother opening little shortcuts that we don't need. Red Pepper Crater. Level 2 of Chapter 6. I am ready. Are you guys ready? Because I'm freaking ready. I'm pumped. Get out of here, nerd. Oh, crap. I was hoping I'd ought to kill him. Bum, 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 bum. Da, 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 um... I think I just go like a hammer and I, or wait, I want a small hammer for the first guy, but then a big hammer and then another big hammer. Let's go ham. Dun, 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 dun. 
Oh boy, that second big hammer was overkill. You know what I want more than anything in this battle system? Well, actually, there's a lot of things I want over this in the battle system, but the battle system could be greatly improved if they let you pick which enemy you want to target instead of being like, okay, well, if you, the first card you use is always going to be against the first guy, and the second card you use is always going to be against the second guy. Like, um... Uh, I think Thousand Year Door and the first Paper Mario had... Mostly you had to attack the first guy, but there were some attacks at least that hit like whoever you wanted you could target with them i believe i need to replay those Ah, uh, mario maybe you can help me out with something i probably can i don't want to though i work at the tangerino grill and we've got this huge block of ice taking up space in our freezer chef asked me to come here to find something to melt the ice but i can't jump that high got any pointers for me i've never been any good at jumping well mario here is one of the best jumpers i've ever seen he could probably go pro if he wanted so we'll go find the thing you're looking for and deliver it to the Tangerino Grill. Wow, really? Thanks a bunch. I'm still on the clock, so I'm going to go take a nap somewhere and rack up some overtime pay. <laughs> oh my god. I thought he said he couldn't jump. Oh yeah, he just jumped like crazy. You suckered the crap out of you, Mario. How do you feel about that? Upsie daisy. I don't want to fight this guy. Oh uh, no, leave me alone. Oh, I want that though. No, give it. <laughs> Eat it, sucker. Oh, wait, stepping on it makes it stop. Is that what happened there? Oh! That was horrifying. I did just meet us, miss a good item back there, but that's okay. We'll live without it. Still no blue paints. Oh, goodness. Camera was a little left up there. Yeah, smack those coins, buddy. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I don't like you. Dry bones. Dry bones! Oh, ha, ha. Uh, I didn't even realize that was like a thing I can make fall on him. I've made items fall on them before. I just didn't realize that that one was big enough. Yeah. Give me your item, piranha plant. Bum, 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 bum. So, could do a triple iron jump here. I think maybe I do a double iron jump. What do I have over here? Iron jump and big iron jump. You know, let's go ahead and go. I just iron jump. And then a big hammer. I don't know how much health these guys actually have. I'm always hesitant to waste things, especially since we. We're running out really hard last episode. Big hammer. I'm running really low on hammers, though. Maybe I should do big iron jump. Let's try it. Damn, that did not kill him. That did not kill him. Excellent. My favorite. Oh, they attack you like exactly the same as uh, in old Paper Mario games. That's cool. One of the few enemies that's exactly the same. Um, I think, man, even a regular hammer might finish them off, but I want to play it safe and go KO hammer. Or wait, is this guy not going to fly into the other guy because he's like rooted into the ground or whatever? Oh my god. That's fine. And then we'll go with a regular iron jump. How's that sound? I probably need to just stop buying regular jumps and regular hammers and stuff because they never kill enemies in one go anymore. Need all that expensive shit. Welcome to late stage capitalism. Either you're making mad money or you're living on worn out boots literally in this case that was a terrible phrase I should have thought about that more so I could have said something intelligent okay, I don't want to use that double big hammer because this looks like a not super great fight should sort there we go um, 
So I'm thinking I go, I want big, I want to use a big hammer in the middle. So I'm thinking I go hammer, big hammer. Burning all enemies have executed well. Sure, let's use a blaze hammer. Boom. Okay, that was good. Beautiful. Let's get some extra coins for the perfect bonus. My favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Level up my paints again. I don't really care. Now, see, that's one thing we don't know about. Oh, the new game yet. Oh, my God. I don't mind taking the fireballs. I don't want to fight these battles anymore, though. You know, it's good to move forward, but sometimes you have to look back at where you've been, too. Did I sound like a life coach just then? Good. I've been working on opening a private practice. Um, but, yeah, that's one thing we don't know about. The new Paper Mario is how the level up systems and stuff work. Oh no, I was supposed to go back. Okay, I see the pattern now. Because uh, in all of the footage we've seen, including that very long, like, deep dive, well, not very long, like that five minute video that they released last week, um, you just have, like, tons of health and coins which lends itself more to this style of game and uh, Sticker Star. But we don't know exactly what it means yet. Uh, we don't know how the level-up system works. That's what I really want to know. Because in this game, the level-ups are basically just grabbing enough of those hammers that pop out of enemies to, um, to increase your paint. Otherwise, it's like story moments, and I think there's one side quest that give you extra card slots up here that are essential. But it's not like, oh, I made that choice to take that. Like, in the first two games, you make the choice between HP, FP, and badge points every level, and it's an interesting choice because they're all incredibly essential. Except, unless you're, like, a pro, in which case you don't actually need HP at all if you perfect block everything like a master. I kind of want to flee from this guy because I'm going to have to use ice to kill him. And I'd rather not waste ice against a single fire guy. Or fireball, I guess I should say, because fire guy is an actual thing in Mario. But yeah, I really want to know how that works, because the it looks seems like the starting HP is like 80 or something. Which is just absurd, and I don't like that, but, you know, what are you going to do? Is he going to shoot back out really far? Or, okay. I was going to say, what the hell was the point of removing that? How in the world do I get that? Is there a cutout I can do? Mm. Well, I don't know. Don't fireball me, bro. Oh, thanks. He actually listened to me. What an obedient little fireflyer. Wow, these guys are, like, all ignoring me. That's weird. But hey, I'll take it. Oh, nice. Some healing. Oh, this will lead back out towards that block, right? Or wait, can I even go through here? No. I gotta go back around now. I see. Am I gonna be able to make this? Yes, just barely. This shoots back out. No, oh, the fireballs. Now I can get across there. Doesn't help me get that, which is unfortunate, but. Maybe there was one like down at the bottom that I could have colored in or something. I don't think it's worth going back for though. Oop, screen's getting off. Don't shoot fireballs at me, bro. I don't need that stress right now. No, bro! We had a deal! Oh crap, that's a lot more damage than the other guy's fireball. Some might even say double the damage. But those people are math nerds. Um, what's going on here? 
Can I get up to where he is even? Yeah, there's a thing to ride to get up there. And it looks like I can do a cutout. Okay, that, I just have to line it up right. In fact, I can do it from down here. Well, actually, I'm going to cancel because I want to see what's down here first. These bad guys are... Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, he blows them up. Good to know. Oh, big ice flyer. Nice. Yeah, blow up all your bob on friends. Okay, I don't remember what the red one is, though. Block stopper. I want that question mark. Damn it. I don't know, guys. Uh, okay, well, we got some cards. That's nice, I suppose. That was pretty abysmal. I'll um, uh, edit that out later. <laughs> I won't actually do that. Okay, now we can use this to get up there. Bum, bum. Yeah, skip right past that fire dude. Fire... Fire brother? Is that what it's called? I think so. Oh no, another fire brother. Leave me alone. Thank you. Hello? I see like a door back there. Something bad is going to happen here. Fireball, big fireball. He said, who are you and what are you doing in my volcano? Now he said, this is my living room. How would you like it if I just walked into your living room? He goes on, I've got the temperature set just the way I want it in here. If you don't like it, too bad. Don't even think of letting any of the heat out. Do you even know how much it costs to heat this place? The rocks don't melt themselves, you know. <laughs> I actually think he's wrong about that. The rocks do melt themselves. But he seems pretty mad anyway. Is that true? I guess I didn't know that. The rocks melt themselves. Oh, he's giving you a warning. That's pretty thoughtful for an enemy. He said, I'm literally made of fire and you're made of paper. Good luck, kindling. <laughs> so maybe not as thoughtful as I originally thought. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I'm going to have to use ice stuff, obviously. Also, he says he's made of fire and you're made of paper, but also he's made of paper as well. That was some good damage. Oh, crap. Do you just, like, lose against this guy if you don't bring enough ice flowers? Or I guess things can probably damage him too, right? Maybe. These little ice flowers are not doing the damages I want them to. Oh, good lord, that's a lot. Um, what if we go for a mushroom? I've got lots of big ice flowers that need to be painted, but they take a ton of paint. Which is weird, because I've been getting them for a long time, and I feel like I literally just didn't have enough paint to paint these before, if it really takes... 200 and whatever that is in which case are they upping the amount of paint it costs as you level up because if that's the case you're literally not gaining anything by leveling up which is ludicrous um i mean i guess i can use one of them and then i don't know what else to do i can try the fan gave me a fan replica earlier maybe that's really strong in fact i've tried that before the ice flower even Hydrate a little bit while this fan animation plays. <clears throat> Try 
drink some flavor too while we're at it. The stream brought to you by Lipton Diet Green Tea Mixed Berry. Well, that crumpled them. Oh, it did a bit of damage too. Oh, it didn't actually crumple them, it doesn't look like. It just did a little bit of damage. Oh, I thought I got that block that time. But no such luck. Hate that I can't block that, like, weird fire thing he does. I can use another one of these, it's just I don't have enough paint for it. So it's not going to be a full blast. I want to go ahead and use my last small mushroom first. I think I still have one small. Yeah. Let's sort to make sure I don't have any more. Ooh. Painted ice flowers. Nope. Hopefully that'll do the trick. It's still like two-thirds painted, so I think it will as long as I don't F it up. Perfect. Whew, screw that guy. What a pain in the butt. I love how bosses just don't give you anything in this game either. It's like, hey, use all of those items you've been storing up, and we'll give you nothing. Oh, no, there's some XP. Not very much. That was probably just from the shy guy, honestly. Nah, it was more than what shy guy would give, but still. It was still, uh, garbage. Ah, naked people! Huh? What? Ah! I demand justice for seeing your wee wees. What do you have to say for yourselves? Uh, this hot screen could be hotter if you ask me. I feel like we know each other pretty well, Mario, but not watch each other take baths well, you know? Yeah, oh, it's a little toasty in here for me, to be honest. Yeah, I'll need to come to a consensus, consensus here. Oh, this hot spring is the best. The perfect temperature. Ah, I wish I could sit in here all day, but I suppose it's about time to ring myself out and get on with the day. Oh, red dude. Was that supposed to be like a um, Goldilocks reference? Oh, it's too harsh. It's too cold. It's just right. Oh, there's another rescue squad jerk. Warning, water contains water. <laughs> what? Warning, water contains water. Water is hot. Water will get you wet. Please do not sue us. <laughs> what? That's good. Well, there's the thing I'm looking for. Comp you, sir? Hey, man, if you've got it, flaunt it. And boy, have I got it. Okay, well, I'll take the thing, and then you won't have it. You won't have anything! Dun, 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 dun. Got a hair dryer, dry out or melts practically anything. I gotta take that back to Tangerino Cafe for whatever reason. You borrowing the dryer? Just be sure to bring it back. It's no fun being soggy all day. Toad44 reporting for duty. Are you gonna put on clothes first, dude? Hey, this thing seems like it could melt that huge block of ice at the restaurant. It does. Do I need to do that before I can have my paint star? Cause that's annoying, if true. You guys don't have anything more to say? It looks like you're just gonna keep saying the same stuff. Can I go behind the waterfall? Oh, of course I can. Oh, hello. Oh, this paint, sir. Ah, uh, I'm not even a sniff it anymore, man. I'm converting to a soak it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Bowser works this too hard. I just have one conversation bubble. Oh, it's so beautiful. Is it peeking on an egg? Or peeping, rather, on an egg? Okay, hold on. So this is definitely the way to the star. I want to see if I could go behind the other waterfall over here. Oh, okay, never mind. That's just a little one. That's fun that they did the whole hidden area behind a waterfall thing. 
That was another pretty quick level, at least for the one star. Hey, it took us three hours to stack up like this. Don't knock us over. Oh, boo. Why, I never. <laughs> they think it was a female shy guy? I don't understand what they thought it was. But still, it's fun. Paint star, ta-da! Oh, I need these coins. Now let's head back to Tangerino Cafe. Melt their ice block. What? Apparently that was not the correct, um, <laughs> Paint star. That one was just the shortcut. Or Tangerina Grill, that's right, not Cafe. So we're gonna go do that level again, I suppose. Yay. Unless melting this ice block does something significant. I never did get up there, did I? Mario, thank you for all your help. I wish you could can I, I wish you continued luck in courting Princess Peach. What I'm not courting her. <laughs> you kidding? All the times I saved her life, if I was courting her, I would have her. And we're just friends. You understand me? That's right, I remember this giant ice cube. Wow, that is a big piece of ice. And look, there's something frozen inside it. Guessing we need that magnifying glass for something. Um, oh yeah, hair dryer. to me. Oh, now I can use the freezer. I want to say the final piece of Mamma Mia pizza that I have is a late night snack in the freezer. Mario, we're in your debt for preparing the VIP meal too, so I'd like to thank you once again. As a sign of our appreciation, please squeeze that strange object as much as you'd like. What a wonderful prize, my friend. Oh shoot, I should have read that. Hold on. Makes things appear larger than they are. Can also fry ants and other various creatures. Okay. Guess that's it for this level. So I think we're just going back to uh, the crater we were in. That level I didn't hate as much, so I don't mind as much searching for the other paint star. Plus, I mean, really, I would go back and get the other paint star here if it weren't for the fact that we have to go all the way back to Fort Cobalt and um, find uh, get a, get another magma burger, which costs 200 coins and a lot of time for a, a freaking shortcut path that's going to save us less time than just not doing all that crap. I don't need that item badly enough to battle that guy. Oopsie daisy. Do you need that ice flower? Ah! My bad. Leave me alone. Guess you're a paint star. Oh wait, is it down here? Oh, secret path. Oh sweet. That was easy. Well, you actually found this place? Respect. 
Okay. Now, is this just a shortcut also? Because that would be pretty infuriating to just get two shortcuts for all, all of this. What is the point of all these levels up here even at that point? Just to get the magnifying glass? Do I need that desperately for something? And I don't remember what it is. Yeah, that's just a shortcut. Okay, so there must be a path that was a dead end that I need the magnifying glass for. Because that's the only thing that makes sense here. That's the only thing that doesn't make me angry here. Because all of that was just for a magnifying glass. Okay, let's zoom the map out here. Um... Okay, there's still levels way down here. That must be where we're going. Through the Sacred Forest? That doesn't seem right. The title of this episode is Lava and Dragons. And we're already done with the lava and the dragons. Oh yeah, they're sad because I took their thing. Oh, that's right, there was that tiny pipe here. I remember now. Got it locked away way in the back of the old noggin at this point. Could use some items, why not? God, that was a long time ago that we came here and saw that little pipe and was like, well, what, are, what are we, the hell are we supposed to do with that? Oh wait, I gotta go up here. And here's our mini pipe. Beautiful. That's not really a square Mario, but I'll take it. Magnifying glass. Excellent. What a show. There we go. We should be able to fit in this bad boy now. Ta-da. Man, we are just getting mad paint stars. There it is. Man, you've got some luck, Mario. Can't believe we found a paint star so deep in these woods. Oh, no. Is somebody going to steal it? Did I jinx myself? No, Kamek. Get out of here. What's the matter, Mario? Grab that thing and let's roll like a paint roller. Yeah, grab it, grab it. I don't see any trouble around here, but maybe I glossed over it. Get it? Gloss? It's paint. Well, I don't see you making any good puns. Oh, just grab it, Mario, you freaking moron. Ah, Mario, fancy meeting you here. I've heard much about your exploits, searching for the big paint stars, journeying here and there. Lord Bowser went to the trouble of scattering the paint stars, and you're undoing his hard work. In other words, you're being Mario. You may have bested us before, but this time will be different. You'll leave this battle looking like a pile of confetti. Confetti in a parade honoring our fearless Koopa King. I've sized you up, Mario, but my magics may size you down. <laughs> size you down? He's going to shrink us, isn't he? Bring it, old man. We'll make you wish you were never painted. Oh goodness, big words for such a little can. But with Mario here, I must take every precaution. Prepare yourselves for the fury of the Koopa Magics. Uh oh. Kikiti ka, kikiti koo, make Mario the size of a shrew. Uh oh. Okay, let's see you stomp some Goombas now, you greedy little coin snatcher. True power needs not material wealth. Oh, and all my cards are hidden too? Sweet, I love it. And I can't even do a battle roulette? Well, I'll just use a random freaking card, I guess. That is lovely, I love it. I messed up that last one. Well, I'm doing damage to her. That's what's important, I suppose. 
Liberty Lat Labity Lit. Trim your hand right down to six. Oh, he's gonna do all this things that he was randomly doing when I was in this level before. Paralyzed by choice, are we? Allow me to help. <laughs> and you're never getting your other cards back. Well, unless you win the fight. Oh, I can't even see them. Excellent. I love it. I guess let's just use three cards. I don't know what they are. Hopefully I'm not wasting a bunch of things that I need. Okay, that's fine. I don't love wasting these this double big hammer, but I'll live. This is a boss, I guess, so I mean what when else am I gonna use a double big hammer, you know? Tickety tatch, tickety twos, all of your cards are crummy shoes. That's some bullshit. <laughs> they do like no damage. Oh my god. I wish I had used three cards that first turn. She would probably be dead. But I thought she would eventually flip my cards back over or something, and I did not want to use any like thing cards or anything really important. Man, I need a mushroom. Kupatika, Kupatikan, where's your hand? Oops, it's gone. Oh, you didn't want those cards, did you? You can always pay for a battle spin. Cross your fingers for a good card. <laughs> what a piece of crap. Okay, I'd like the grill, please. So hold on, it comes after the double shoes. Which is after a hammer. Oh, crap. Double shoes is still good. I think I can still kill her with that. gonna be very close oh crap I somehow screwed up the second jump too so it's actually not close because I effed it up I have no way to use mushrooms that's fun there's mushrooms in there that's nice but really I would just like one of the attack cards to kill her with double hammer okay this should kill her Yeah, flick the card. Jeez. Be dead! Oh, thank you for being dead. Oh, wait. Are you? Yes. Huh? No! But how? I was so busy tormenting Mario that I failed to realize my color has drained completely. Which means the words I'm now speaking are my last. Quick, Kamek. Say something profound. Uh, did I lock my front door this morning? Gah, no! Curse you, Mario. With my last ounce of power, I'll trap you in this forest forever. I'm going to make you so big, you'll never fit in a pipe again, plumber boy. <laughs> no! Well, that didn't really work out for you. Oh, I guess I only had enough power left to turn you back to normal size. Shoot. That's fun. My power draped my once striking visage so pale and colorless like a bleached blue 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 bleached boo riding a beached blooper <laughs> say that 10 times fast yeah i couldn't even say it one time fast bye you could probably do it anyway you're one tough cookie mario my koopa magics which were once called a veritable all-you-can-eat buffet of chaos by the prisma times were not enough to stop you i admit defeat You've earned my respect all over again. Here, you deserve this more than I. Is it for a fourth card? Oh, sweet. It's a card max up thingy. With this, you'll be able to play an additional card in every combat turn. Thanks, Kamek, but it still doesn't make up for the terrible things you've done. The forests are still the wrong size. You listening? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Good shit.
All right, we're making mad progress today. Only an hour into the stream. Green energy plant. All right, let's go. I'm so excited. Man, I just can't hide it. It's glad to be done with the lava level that was up there. The first one. The second level lava level was fine. That first lava level freaking sucked. I'm almost dead. That also freaking sucks. In fact, maybe I should actually leave the level and go back to town real quick because I can get a free heal there without wasting mushrooms. And also, I could do with doing a little bit of shopping for cards. I don't have a ton of money though, so I don't, I don't want to do a ton of shopping. Oh, also, there's that letter that I can check on. Only miss it one more. Let's go check the mail and do some shopping. Like dancing with each other, weirdos. Oh, this chair is killing my booty. Hey, Mario, great timing. You've got new mail. Dear Mario, this is the foreman from Toad Trainworks. As you know, I was going to retire after repairing that train engine. Thing is, I fixed it up so good the toads upstairs decided to keep the Sunset Express on the tracks. Which got me thinking, maybe now's not the time for me to retire. If that old hunk of junk can stay on the tracks, so can I. And so can you, Mario. Never give up. The foreman. Remember, you can always really reread. Okay. I guess that's a kind of you to send me that letter. Even though I could have had an item in it, you know, it would have been a little nicer. Just saying. Welcome to Prisma Cardware. Oh, I didn't even notice it was called that. That's funny. Okay, let's buy. We could use some more big mushrooms. It's plenty of healing, I think. I'm not in Lava Town anymore, so I'm not that worried about only having one of each of the ice flowers. Uh, I am worried about the fact that I am pretty much out of hammers again. Let's buy unpainted ones because they'll save me a lot of money and I usually have more paint than I know what to do with. Oh, I'm full on cards. That's actually bad. I need to sell some now. Because I hate being full on cards and constantly having to turn down perfectly good shit. Oops. Um, honestly, the blaze hammers are kind of bad. Get rid of one of those, I think. Get rid of a line jump. Get rid of a springy jump. Get rid of a regular jump. And then that should be good enough, because I'll start going through the cards here pretty soon. I just want to have enough space to grab whatever cards might be at the beginning of this next level without throwing a bunch away. Like a noob. Get the save while we're here. Why not? Now let's go to the green energy plants. For real. Only one shine. Not shine sprite. They're not shine sprites. Even though they look just like them, they're not shine sprites. Okay. Only one mini paint star here. I'll just save like right here too. Can I color that? Man, I need to get like a mat to set this gamepad on because my hands get sweaty sitting on the side of it there and then it gets all sticky and weird. 
really do need to like wipe this dust down anyway. L. Luigi, do you live here? Oh, maybe Luigi's back there, behind there. I run into a few of these, and then he usually gives me some coins, which I could really use right now. Hey! Thanks, bud. Okay, so we've got a tunnel and a door to check out, it looks like. Okay, the door's locked. That's why I tried it first, because I figured it probably would be. Oh, I mean, let's try knocking. <gasps> oh, hey. Mario, help me! This, this death claw just grabbed me out of nowhere! Oh, death claw? Not to worry, that's just a science claw, my friend. I apologize for the grabby introduction, but this is the green energy plant. I normally research alternative sources of renewable energy here, but ironically, the power is out. <laughs> and now what? You're trying to steal the power from my body with this claw? Well, I'll never give up my power. Never! Wait, I don't think I even have any power. No power? Oh, at first glance, I thought for sure you were some sort of robot. Well, I thought you were either a robot or a can of cat food. Either way, it was a big win for me. Oh, what? Anyway, I used my last bit of power to grab you with this claw. Also, that was totally his character model that was grabbing me out there, not the claw. Cat food? How dare you? Let me out of this thing. I don't like this guy. He must eat cat food, apparently. Wait, what did you say about losing power? Did something trip a breaker? Yes, that's exactly what happened. Only I haven't been able to reset it like usual. It was so strange. I saw something that appeared to be a shooting star. It blasted through the window and went into this monitor somehow. After that, the breaker tripped and everything went dark. Mario, that might have been one of our paint stars. We should take a closer look at this monitor. So, green toad science guy, can you let me down and turn this thing on? Oh, ho, ho, of course not. Weren't you listening to anything I said? I don't have any power. Of course, you're welcome to look around my laboratory a bit, if you think you can figure something out. Urgh, all the paint has gone to my head. I could really use a good five minutes in a shaker. Screw you, dude. Oh, I can cut the TV. That must be what I need to do. Oh, maybe I need to get this thing out of the way first. That's the monitor I'm studying right now. I want to continue my research as soon as possible. It would be fantastic if you could fix the power for me when my research awaits. And to be honest, I want to play with my science claw. Maybe I need to have the power on before I cut the TV. Doesn't seem like I can interact with this thing. So maybe we just go out into the tunnel. But real quick, uh, I need to take a quick intermission here. Guys. I realized I muted my mic. Muted my mic before I finished saying that. I will be back in just a second. And we're back. I told you guys it would only be a minute. Probably wasn't even a minute. Hands were just really sticky from sweating on this, this table, and I had to wash them. Because I'm weird. Don't worry about it. 
Hallo. Okay, let's just try to go down the tunnel. Maybe that's where we go to fix the power. Okay, I can't like step off of that or anything. Ooh, do I have a light bulb or something? Anything with an electrical current. I don't recall having anything with an electrical current. Didn't I have a battery at some point? Oh, I do still have it, good. Uh, the battery I used in a battle must have been a replica. Excellent. So if I remember correctly, lightning tends to strike tall metal objects. <laughs> Poor Huey. Ta-da! Now we can go in the TV where the mini paint star is. I was right about the lightning. Aww. Him's not feeling so good. Where are we going in level... What level is that? Super Mario Bros. 3-1-1, isn't it? Guys, you did it. The electricity is back on. Yeah, you're welcome, science guy. Hey, Mario, check it out. I can practically smell our paint star through the screen. Oh my god, let me in there. Based on the minty fresh scents, I'd say it's green mini paint star. We're after. By the way, what is all this nonsense on the screen? And that music is making me so happy and nostalgic for some reason. Oh, I love this so much. Ah, yes, my latest experiments. I've been measuring brain activity in response to these ancient images. I can't make heads or tails of them, but they seem to make a lot of people quite happy. Isn't it fascinating how the images seem to scroll from side to side? And look at all those platforms. Yes, fascinating. Anyway, I'm positive that one of our missing paint stars is in there. Can you, can you get us in there somehow? Let's get in there. Yes, I love this so much. Put it out. Oh my god, I love that. Whoa, this is so weird. Everything's all bleepy and bloopy. <laughs> Some things never change. Here we are inside a crazy pixelated world, and there's a Goomba. Try stomping on it, or smashing it with your hammer like you would in the real world. Oh, this is so cool. Eat it, nerd. Oh my god, this makes me so happy. Hmm, this is a bit of a problem. Let's try changing our perspective a little bit. This is going to use up a little bit of paint, but it's totally worth it. So go ahead and press Y and see what happens. Oh, wait, are they taking the mechanic from Super Paper Mario? Oh, they are. Wow, that's even crazier than I expected. You should try doing this all over the place. The only thing is, I can only help you hold the perspective for a little bit of time, like 10 seconds. When the time is up, you'll pop back into the real world. I mean, the real fake world that we're in. Anyway, if you want to go back to normal before 10 seconds, have fast, just press Y again, okay? Have fun and be careful. This is super cool. I love that they brought this level into the game. Oh, huge jump, nice. But then also they have uh, like this whole secondary perspective thing that is very clearly from Super Paper Mario. Wait, are they gonna have multiple levels? Oh my God, all that is on one plane.
there anything back here? Tunnel. Interesting. Oh, I gotta do a battle here. Oh, I see. He was a normal-looking turtle, huh? Oh my god. Um, I love that the music is 8-bit, too. This is so hype. Let's just do a regular jump to send him flying into the other guys. And then, I don't know, maybe do a line jump? I have quite a few of those. pretty good I love the music oh my god this makes me so happy Very nice. Thank you. Wait, so what's that look like? Okay, so which tunnel? I'm guessing I want this back tunnel. I don't want that item, but I also want to make sure I get into this red too. I think. I assume. I need to jump on this guy. Because oh, I need his paint. I'm definitely in a different level now. This is fun. I mean, I guess that last level was a different level too, huh? It's just like kind of teleporting me around. I can't even tell if they're still the actual levels or... If it's just like, hey, this looks like Mario 3 still, but isn't actually a level from the game, hard to tell. There's a coin trail down there. Ooh, baby. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. I'm guessing if you keep going through the green pipes, it just keeps looping you through the same level or something. Oh wait, I should totally leave it turned so I can grab all these coins up. <gasps> Good lord. Okay, so we want some big boys here. Oh, we're actually low on paint though, so all those paintless things I bought are probably not a great idea. I should have bought more one-up shrooms if I was going to buy all this paintless crap. Let's go ahead and go big hammer, big hammer, big shoe, big shoe. Oh wait, I want the unpainted big shoes though. See where that gets me. Oh, wait, is he dead just from that? Oh, no, not quite. Perfect win, baby. They should spit out some pretty serious paint here, though. Yeah, that's good shit. Oh, I'm really low on red still, though. Hey, look at that. It might be all weird and chunky, but that smells like a paint star to me. You got a mini paint star in the old text. That's so good. Well, that flag seems important somehow. Maybe it's how we get out of this place. Why don't you try jumping on it? You know, like you do at the end of cutout sometimes. Oh, 
slow. <laughs> That was super awesome. Maybe the best level in the game now. That shooting star came zooming out all of a sudden. This must be one of those new high def 3D monitors. Give me it. Wahoo! Man, we are just working at a breakneck pace today, man. I was just saying at the very beginning of the stream how we might have a, a lot, quite a few streams to left because the levels were starting to take forever. But now we're just blasting. I think we only have two levels left in this chapter now. Which is crazy. And I mean, this is the last full chapter. After this is just the like final area, I think. From what I've looked at in the walkthrough that I've been using when I get stuck, it looks like there's just one level in that final chapter. Now, how long that level is, who knows, because historically the last level in Paper Mario games are very long. Ooh. This is creepy. The music reminds me of something. Maybe Banjo-Kazooie? Presenting the Emerald Circus. It's fun, we promise. There's a faint star in there. Mario, it says there's a circus. It says it's fun! I wouldn't lie about that. It also has a giant paint star on it, clearly. I need some red paint. I'm just gonna try to avoid these guys if I can. Oh, hello, Toad. Where am I? The forest is creepy. I mean, just listen to this music. <laughs> This music is good. Stop being rude, Toad. Kind of reminds me of the Haunted Forest from the first game. Ah! I've been thinking about buying that first game because apparently it's available on Wii U eShop. Uh, like Virtual Console, which I never knew. But, um, I'm not... I kind of feel like they're going to eventually listen to fans and release those first two games in a collection on Switch, and I would rather play them like that. Plus, who knows, maybe it'll have like three times speed and stuff, which would be awesome. Also, I would totally buy that collection, even if I had already played the first Paper Mario, just to play Thousand Year Door again. It's kind of like, uh... I mean, there's not even really rumors circulating about that. I just feel like Nintendo should listen to their damn fans. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's just go triple big hammer. Hope for the best here. These guys need to stop with the blowing noises. It is super annoying. Ooh, baby. Thank you for stopping with the blowing noises. Lots of coins. Give me some red paints. Thank you. Double hop slipper. Sure, I'll take that. That's where it came from down here, right? Yeah. Oh! Ugh. These guys are already making me angry. So I know that triple big hammer will work here. I'm going through big hammers kind of quickly, though. But I mean, I did buy a bunch of them for a reason, you know? Let's just do it. Yellow shy guy. Bastard, get out of here. I don't even know where he came from. Why wouldn't he not have been in that same battle? That was weird. level just like a weird straight line with a bunch of little bullshit surprises another sign the emerald circus nail biting edge of your seat fun <gasps> oh you bastards don't feel like fighting you 
Yeah, this music reminds me of Donkey Kong 64. Um, I think it's like the third world. It's like a weird mechanical world. I think it's the world where you get tiny. I know you fight the boss as tiny. And it's like a weird um, jack-in-the-box type thing. The music reminds me of that a lot, actually. Oh my god, so much like that music. Seriously, go listen to that. I don't know. I don't know the name of the level, so I don't know if you can even find it based off of what I just said. But ta-da! Oh, Hammer Brothers. Oh no. Oh no. another sign down there. Experience the Emerald Circus, starring the amazing and mysterious illusionist of the century. Guessing I have to stay on the upper path here. That guy needs to leave me alone, please. Okay, they're not actually gonna chase after me like they do in Thousand Year Door. I wasn't really paying attention to their patterns in the earlier level they showed up in. Ooh, double hurl hammer, nice. Hey, a toad. Someone snuck up and drained me while I was watching those high wire jugglers. I'm out of here. Okay, so yeah, now I need to go up and I need to not fall this time. Or, well, I guess I didn't fall to begin with. I just went on the lower route. Yeah, I knew it. I knew they were going to throw stuff at me. Could use that. Can I, like, oh my god, how am I supposed to get past those guys? Oops. I'm fine in getting up to here, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do about those guys. Can't jump up high enough to get them. Do I need the Hammer Brothers to hit them? That's the only thing I can think of. Damn it. I don't know how to get past these guys, guys. It's really making me very unhappy. I can't believe it hit me. Oh my god! Oh wait, can I bounce them off from below? Okay. Go figure. Oh, you sons of bitches. What happens if I pull this? Oh, I thought it was gonna like crush them. That would have been more fun. Could use some health now. Got effed up pretty hard there. I do have mushrooms that I can use if I get in a combat encounter though. I don't like you guys. Oh, I don't like you either. Ah. Good lord. Seems like a trap. Maybe not. I need that toad. Oh, whoops. I'm supposed to hold a. Oh, rescue toad. Nice. Go away, shy guy. The trapeze is really difficult because you've got to pull off the. Pull off sweet poses and moves in midair. If I had just a little more time, I could have been the greatest trapeze artist of our generation. Reporting for duty, blah, blah, blah. You stay there, Shaggy. I don't want to fight you. You're not worth my time. Oh, damn it. Forgot it. You got to take it a little bit slow. Oh, there's a... I think the paint star is in there. I'm pretty sure I just heard it. There's still more level up here, too. Can't carry anymore. What the hell are you talking about? Have I really been grabbing that many items? That's weird. I wish I could just use a mushroom, you know? That'd be nice. 
so that I gotta throw something the hell away. I guess the spiky helmet. So I sure as hell don't want to turn down a triple hurl hammer. Double E camera. Feast your eyes on fantastic fire breathing beasts at the Emerald Circus. Whammo! Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go. This is a path too? No. I'm gonna go over here because I swear I heard the paint star, but there's still another path up there, and I think this level only had one paint star. Hold on. Well, there's definitely two paint stars just right there, so. What the hell are we doing here? One of them's probably a fake. Wow, too many paint stars. I think the purple one's real, if either of them are real, but I don't... I don't understand exactly what's going on there. I want to check this other path first. Oh boy, I should just throw away like several things, I suppose. Um, what else is kind of crappy at this point? I guess a spring jump or hop slipper or whatever the hell they want to call it. Still have some regular jumps here. That's fine. Can use a bunch of paints actually. Okay, that's some health. Very nice. Bunch of cards that I really don't have room for. I mean, I just made a little bit of room, but I'm already out again. Another poster. Can't carry any cards. Excellent. There's another paint star. So yeah, one of those back there must be fake. Or were there three? I think there might have been three on this level. They just want you to play through the level twice for those other two. That seems odd. Okay, I looked at the guide to verify, and they are both real over there. It's just, uh, grab both of them. You have to play through the level three times. Have fun, I guess. That's so, such ugh. bad game design, man. And I'm sure they're all just freaking shortcuts, too, other than one of them. I don't really want to throw that away. I throw away my last little jump. I should actually be throwing away uncolored stuff. Do you have anything crappy in the uncolored section? Not really. I have a lot of good stuff. Oh, well, these. Freaking Kamek gave me those. Alright, well, let's get this green star and then we'll come do this level two more times to get the other two. Oh, sorry, my screen was way off that drink. Apologies. What does this do? Oh, it just closes down the show immediately? That's so amazing. beans <gasps> don't do it shy guy you son of a bitch I don't want any glad you can make it today folks the encore is about to begin please put your hands together for this exclusive encore performance by the legendary Penta Bros. Oh, I gotta fight them? Okay. Makes sense. Um, let's use double hurl hammer. Let's go big line jump. I don't have any big line jumps. Maybe I have an uncolored one. Yeah. Then, um...
Triple hurl hammer on colored. And ice flower. Oh man, it's taking all my blue. And I actually don't even have enough to fill it, so. Stitch that last ice flower at the very least. Go big hurl hammer, sure. It's a lot of hurl hammers in there. Hopefully they do good damage here. Okay, I actually probably went a little too overkill there, maybe. Oh crap, well I messed that up. Very unfortunate. But I think I'll be fine. Oh yeah, the hurl hammers only hit the one that it's actually hitting and the ones behind that one doesn't actually hit ahead of itself. That's pretty lame. In that case, I did not overkill. Crap. Okay, um, let's just use a couple of big jumps. Those only take yellow, I think, so. Oh no, they take yellow and red, but that's fine. I think you might honestly die from just one big jump, but I want to be safe. Bum, bum. Was this, this was just a sneak peek of the face-melting spectacles on display at the Emerald Circus. Please check out the Emerald Circus just up ahead and follow us on social media. Will do, friends. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to say follow me on Twitter, uh, at Circus Emerald. Thank you. They said the circus is just up ahead. Can we go, Mario? Please, 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 please. But seriously, my Twitter is uh, at Dreamer Tactical. You should follow me if you want updates about the stream. And also, every once in a while, some opinions about games that I'm playing. booked it through a seriously absurd number of levels today. I don't know if we realistically have time to finish this other one, though. I'm gonna look in the guide and see if it looks super long, because we've got about 20 minutes left. But a lot of times these final levels are like an hour plus long. No, I don't know. It doesn't look that bad. Oh, it looks like I need to make sure I have all the red rescue squad members before I enter. I'm glad I read that. Okay, well, we'll definitely go in the level real quick and go grab the leader. And then we'll be able to find out if we found all the red rescue toads or not. And if not, we can spend the rest of the stream trying to hunt them down. Otherwise, we can go back to that level and get those other two mini paint stars, but it doesn't seem like we need them. I don't know where they lead. I wouldn't be surprised if they just, like, go back around in a circle or something. Ooh, a giant tent in the middle of the forest. This must be the Emerald Circus, right? You know what I just realized is that I haven't updated my Google Calendar in a little while. I don't even know what that looks like right now, frankly. What's today? Friday, June. Okay, it is still updated up through this week. It's just next week that it has nothing on it. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not going to edit it live on the stream right now. Just uh, need to check on it later. Get your tickets now to the world round Emerald Circus before it's all sold out. Because I'm now realizing that we're probably going to finish Paper Mario on Monday, I'm thinking. Presenting the Emerald Circus. It's fun, we promise. Emerald Circus. Nail-biting, edge-of-your-seat fun. Which means I need to figure out what RPG I'm going to play next on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Probably want to find a somewhat short one. 
because Origami King is pretty close to coming out. I really do want to play Bug Fables because that's like old school Paper Mario from what I understand. There's a limit of 50 tickets for Shy Guys and they're all sold out. I heard the ringleader is preparing a special surprise for this performance. I wonder what it is. But I would need to see how many streams I have between now and Origami King. Because I hear that's about 25 hours, which with streaming time, it's usually a little more. So I'm thinking like 30 hours, which would be what? Thir not 30 streams, uh, 15 streams. This is the performance of Circus. For you a performer? No, I didn't think so. So that would be five weeks I would need between now and Origami King. And I don't think we have that. No, Origami King's in a little under a month. We got four weeks. So that's probably not the best idea. I need something that's around 20 hours. If anybody has any recommendations, feel free to put them in chat or DM me, tweet me, whatever. These guys aren't trained, so we can't put them in the circus yet. Their tongues are a liability. Let them go! Let my people go! I don't know why I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. There's the toad leader. Thanks a ton for rescuing me, Mario. I went to bed a Yoshi, but it suddenly chewed me up and spit me out. I'm the leader of the Red Rescue Squad. Wish I could stay in chat, but I've got to get to the rendezvous spot pronto. Thanks again for saving me back there, Mario. One of our informants told me that there's a big paint star inside the circus tent. The Red Rescue Squad is gearing up to bust, up, bust in and seize it, but none of my 49 squad members have shown up yet. If you see any Red Rescue Squad members at our headquarters in Port Prisma, please send them my way. Over and out. Welcome to the world-renowned Emerald Circus. The show will start as soon as the house fills up. We only perform in front of sellout crowds. Just one person in line? We can't perform until we have a packed house. Okay, so that's what I need all the toads for, is for them to pack the circus. Stupid. Okay, let's get out of here and go to Port Prisma, see how many of those little bastards we're missing. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, okay. I switched it to day view on accident. Ooh, I can switch it to month view. Oh, that's way better. That's beautiful. Um, all right. We're going back to Port Prisma. Oh, we have mail again? I didn't even see that notification whenever that happened. health check out the letter that we got huh don't don't hit the camera oops that's the card shop I could probably use the card shop too though I've used a lot of those big hammers I bought already great timing I've got new mail hey yeah big girl it's on me again Luigi I'm a hiding, bro. Have you found me yet? Remember when we used to play hide and seek as kids? I've been hiding in five spots, not including the lab. They're all places that you've come and adventured in so far. Come and find me. I think I found like two of them. Remember, you can always reread old letters. Mario? It's Luigi time. Um. Or wait, our like our card inventory is practically full though, so even though I've used a ton of big hammers, like I don't have space for cards. There's no point in buying them when I don't have space. How many thing cards do I have? I don't think I have very many of those left anymore. I've used a lot. A lot of them I had to use for actual objectives. Yeah, I have four, five thing cards now. And the ice pick I think I still need for an objective. 
the bone I definitely don't, and the teapot I definitely don't, because I've already used those before for something. Turnip I might, I don't know. Uh, let's go check on these little red bastards over here. Oh, I'm missing a whole line. Attention, red rescue toads. Report to your captain in Emerald Circus on the double. Understood. Over and out. There's a whole line in there missing, so they must be all from one specific level, probably. If I had to guess. Here's the latest rescue squad info. I've heard from the red rescue leader. We're still missing four of the red rescue squad members. Here's a breakdown. One in Sunset Express, uh, one in Green Energy Plant, one in Moss Rock Theater, and one in Port Prisma. Oh my god, that's a lot, dude. Are you... Do you want to join the Red Rescue Squad? Oh, I can use the magnifying glass on him. I need to go buy a magnifying glass. And then he'll be the part of the Red Rescue Squad. I'll just take care of the Port Prisma one. But then I'm just missing one in a bunch of random levels. Oh boy, we're going to have some fun. Looking for those little jerks. I thought for sure they'd all be grouped together, but nope. I just uh, really am going to have to go through a ton of levels again. Need magnifying glass, please and thank you. Let's have a sensual moment with this magnifying glass. Fun. Thanks, I will, buddy. You must stick a thing that makes the small look big. Yep, I already did that. You already have everything you need. Good for me. Okay, let's go make this toad big so he can join this rescue squad. And then I need to figure out. I need to go talk to that dude again and find out exactly which levels it was. I know it was Sunset Express and the green energy area. Yeah, I think it was just the last two levels I went into and then one in Sunset Express is what it was. This is not lining up correctly. Hmm, hello? Oh, thanks for the follow, ExoPlayer353. Is there somewhere else that has a perfect square shape? May oh, maybe if I come all the way back here. Nope. How do I get the magnifying glass on this guy? How you doing, Exo? This is really weird. It doesn't even pop up over there, so it wants me to use it here. That's just random positioning crap. Just make it where it works along that entire vertical plane there, guys. Come on now. There's just black? Are you seriously not seeing anything? That's uh, not great. Wow, um, let me open my stream on my browser real quick and see if it's, make sure it's on my end here. Well, it's showing up on my screen. Try refreshing XO because, uh, stream live shows that everything is working and when I open the stream on my Twitch channel, it shows that it's working as well. Wait, what happened? I feel different. Mario, did you shrink? No, silly, you've gotten bigger. Whoa, this is great. Anyone else? Anyone got a basketball? I'm gonna go see if I can dunk. No, wait, even better. Now I can join the rescue squad. Yay, good for you, dude. 
Excuse me, sir. Great Scott, how many vegetables did you eat? You're more than qualified for the rescue squad now, son. Welcome to the team. Thank you, sir. Do -do -do -do. I can't believe it. My dreams are coming true. Yes, yes, of course. Now you'll start out as a mere trainee, of course, but I see great things in your future. Wahoo! Okay, I get it. <laughs> Red Rescue Squad Apprentice Toad appearing for duty? Whatever it said. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must report to my captain in Emerald Circus immediately. Um, okay. Let's talk to this guy. Where were the rest of the toads? There's one in Sunset. Sunset Express, Green Energy, and Moss Rock Theater. Um, man, I really don't want to go back to Sunset Express. Let's start with the Moss Rock Theater. Because I'm still missing too many paint stars there anyway. The Green Energy Plant one might be really easy. Or, well, he's probably inside of the TV, right? In which case, it's not going to be easy. Oh, what am I doing? Just exit the, to the world map. Still end at the photo of your stream before coming to black. Hmm. That is really weird, Exa player. Uh, have you tried opening another Twitch stream and seeing if maybe it's just uh, either your browser or your the Twitch app? Especially if you're on the Twitch mobile app. I know the Twitch mobile app is terrible. But there, there's no problems that I can see on my end, unfortunately. Oh, it works now? Excellent. Well, welcome. How are you doing? Okay, so we're just missing one in here. We're just gonna keep an eye out while we run back through the level. What sucks is we're gonna have to run into the part of the level that we don't even need to replay. If we don't find them in this first, these first several sections. So just white ground, yeah. I was hoping it was our toad. That would have been amazing. Oh, on others it works. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know, man. It pro I mean, it's probably a problem on my end then, but on the Google Chrome browser, when I open my Twitch channel... Um... I go to my stream. Let me make sure it's still working here. Yeah, everything's working there. Like here, I'll, I'll go to PC. Or well, <laughs> I was gonna go to PC stream, but like, oh look, I'll show you my web browser. It's working, but I forgot you can't see anything, so it's not really helpful to you. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not working for you. I don't know what the problem could possibly be. Oh. Well, uh, I guess the good news, kind of, for you is that uh, the stream is not going to be going much longer anyways. I do appreciate you popping in, though, man. That's a big bummer. Oh, my God. Ran right into that guy. I'm just gonna flee. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do against this enemy. And I don't feel like learning it. I'm probably moving a little too fast. I'm gonna end up moving, missing the red toad again. Really, it's gonna make me watch this whole thing again? It's crazy. Okay, hold on. I pulled up a guide and I'm glad I did because I already managed to skip this freaking toad somehow. I'm just gonna try to flee again because I don't like these guys. 
perfect. Oh my goodness. Do not touch the mic. Oh, okay, I see. Oh man, that is a sneaky one. It's like this level is really foggy and hard to see, and then they hide them as, like, in place of one of these piranha spiky balls. Oh, let's do, like, triple hammer, double hammer, and that should be good enough, honestly. Beautiful. Too easy. And there is my toad. Good day, sir. Thanks for saving me. That Patui's breath smelled like fish. Ugh. Toad 47, reporting for duty. Okay, since I'm already halfway through this level, I may as well go grab at least one of those. Ugh, two paint stars up here. Is it going to be all three of them this time? No. I'm just going to keep trying to flee. Camera, focus, please. Good lord. Go, 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 go. Please don't play the cutscene again. They should already be in position, right? Okay, good. Oh, that's right. I got to bump these guys off. This part's not as bad now that I know exactly how to do it. I don't really care about closing their theater this time. It's a fire breather somewhere around here. Oh, there's some paint that I missed last time. Oh my god, he breathes so quickly. Stop breathing so quickly, man. I think, oh my god, I think this is the way to the paint star. Yeah, that level is actually really short once you know exactly what you're doing. Bum. Okay, so I'm only missing two now. One in Sunset Express and one on the, whatever, the green energy plant. Now, where does that go? Okay, it does at least unlock a shortcut, which is kind of nice. And I'm sure the other one does as well. Oh, yeah, not just a shortcut, but also the Rochambeau, which we're not actually going to bother with, so. Not really that important, but. The last section of the level. Use cutout mode to hop on top of colored blocks. Okay, let's get this green energy plant one, and then, um. You know what, actually, we'll probably go get the Sunset Express one as well. Before we end the stream, even though we are at two hours already. Oh man, I started pretty late, huh? Uh, I need to cut out. Move into the last section of level, that's really... That's a lot of level. Oh, I hope I cut the opposite direction. Does I don't think it makes a difference, though. switch scenes a couple times here real quick just to see if that refreshes it for anyone who's still seeing a black screen oh what was this oh no nothing Trap inside the white box that has a hole in the wall behind it. Uh -huh. Okay. So we do gotta run back through a lot of this level again. Which, this is a really cool level, so kind of okay with that. But also I don't want to do all these battles again. If I turn the view, maybe I'll have better luck skipping some of these battles. 
get a card. I want that card. Throw a freaking fire flower. I don't care. Huge e camera. Nice. Oh. I think this is already a different direction than I went last time. Oh yeah, because there's the block that I'm supposed to get into. Okay, hold on. Change it back. So I want to get up onto here, and then I want to change the view. Oh yeah, there's a flag already. Oh, okay. So I see there's a flag there, but you don't get the paint star if you grab that flag. Because the paint stars along all those secret paths that I took. What the hell? Okay, I want to change the view. This is so Super Paper Mario. Pretty cool, actually. Where does this go? Did I skip my toad, friend? Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm just gonna have to do this battle. Oh, it's just a single bro. That's easy. Oh, I do like this battle music a lot. Let's go double jump and let's get rid of that worn out jump finally. If I need it even. I probably don't, but I just want it out of my inventory. It's wasting space. Mm, I might actually need it. We'll see here. No, I don't. Oh yeah, I do. Back and forth here. Level up. Where the hell? How did I manage to skip the toad? Was he back here? Oh, is that him up there? Must be some steps that are like hidden in the background here or something. Yep. Oh, there he is. Damn, I slept on Paper Mario series. You never played any of them at all? Because it is a great series overall. Very funny and charming. Even the ones that don't play super well, like I would say this one, still very funny and charming. Let's go... Oh my god, that's, those are some big dudes. Let's go triple hammer. Let's go big hammer, big hammer. And... Double hammer. Use up that yellow paint. But yeah, if you mean that you skipped out on the entire series, I highly recommend the first game and the Thousand Year Door. First game, if you have a Wii or Wii U, you can get it on the eShop. Uh, second game, a lot harder to play. You have to have a copy from GameCube. Or you can go use the Dolphin emulator, just saying. But yeah, those two are the best for sure. Super Paper Mario, also pretty good. Super Paper Mario actually looks a lot like this particular level in this game, which is interesting. Mario, it's really you. I thought I saw you earlier, but I'm pretty sure I was hallucinating. You were all blocky and weird. Anyway, I chased the green mini point paint star in here, but that boomerang bro was hot on my tail. Let's get back to the real world ASAP. I'm going on ahead to the flagpole. See you there. Okay. Oh, no, I want all that experience. 
and paint. No, I haven't. Okay, yeah, you should definitely, um, if you have a Wii or Wii U hooked up, which I know is asking a lot this this uh, this far out from both of those consoles' lives, but uh, I would highly recommend those first two games. And Super Paper Mario. And honestly, you can play Sticker Star and Color Splash as well. They're still funny and charming. The combat system just is not as refined. And then Origami King comes out very soon, which um, I think it's honestly going to be more in the vein of this one and Sticker Star from based on the latest video they had on it. But, I mean, everybody in the world has a Switch at this point, so it's the best jumping on point from accessibility, an accessibility angle. Oh, there you are. Come on, let's get out of here. You just want me to touch the flagpole and let's head out. Okay. So you actually do have to play this level twice, because you can either get the big paint star or you can get the toad. You can't get both in one go. Yes, I still have my Wii U. Oh, awesome. Yeah, if you have a Wii U, you have access to all of them other than Bowser in your door. Because Paper Mario is on the eShop. Super Paper Mario is a Wii game, so it plays on Wii U. Color Splash is a Wii U game, so it plays on Wii U. Oh, and Sticker Star, you also would need a 3DS for so glad to be back in the paper world. Being in that monitor really freaked me out. Toad number 46, reporting for duty. We've read that dialogue a million times. Do you, uh, do you like your Wii U? I know a lot of people really hate Wii U. Even people who have them, a lot of people are like, oh, Wii U's garbage. There's no denying that it did not have nearly the lineup of something like the Switch or... I'd say it has about as good a lineup as the Wii, personally, but... Uh, and certainly not as good a lineup as the 360 or the PS3, but I still think it was a great little console, and I appreciate everything it did. Like, laying the groundwork for the Switch. Okay, let's see if we can figure out which one we're missing on the um, Sunset Express here. This guy's on the outside of the last cart. <laughs> Where is Sunset Express? All the way up here, right? Yes. So hold on. I need to figure out which one I'm missing because there are a ton of them in Sunset Express. Stuck to the door with Bowser tape. I got that one. Standing in the second cart. Pretty sure I got that one. Open the third door to fight a shy guy. I got that one. Destroy the boxes in the fourth cart. Got that one. Top of the train. Walk all the way to the left and you stuck on the ground. Got that one. Once you're on the roof of the VIP cart, go to the right and squash the spike sitting on Toad 6. Hmm, I might not have gotten that one. Or no, wait. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. So it must be one of these down here. Relaxing in the enemy cart. I got him. The guy is on the outside of the last cart, the enemy cart. I'm pretty sure I got that one too, though. Uh, uh oh. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to kind of play through the whole level here. Oh, do I not need to re unfurl this thing? Yeah, actually, the whole train is, like, already splayed out and everything. Oh, whoops. Still have my launch, launch Wii U, and I love it. I am glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear somebody else loves the Wii U. I know Ben Hansen at MinMax also loves his Wii U. And I love that. It's such a good console. Such an underrated console that just... I, honestly, it is 100% its name that killed it in every way imaginable because people just didn't think they need it especially parents didn't think they needed to get it for their children because it sounded like it was just an extension for the Wii it's like well they don't need that extension the fence is broken so I thought I'd fix it up okay but I want to get on the train um, 
So just it didn't sell well, which means publishers' games that they put on it didn't sell well, so they stopped making games for it. And then people were all like, oh, the library's terrible because third parties aren't making games for it. I think it all comes down to that just truly awful name. Mm, how do I get ooh, up onto the train? Was there an entrance all the way at the beginning? Because it looks like I don't have to bother redoing the whole level as it was originally with all the enemies on it and stuff. Is there even a way to get the level to start up that way? It doesn't seem like it. How do we get on there? Please travel with us again on the Sunset Express. I would love to. How do I do that? Oh, there we go. Sunset Express is leaving the station. Okay, so maybe now it's going to revert to the way it was with all the enemies and crap. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so far off. Okay, so I guess we're just going to run through these one at a time. So we have number one, because I, I like I'm reading this and I feel like I have, I've gotten all of these. But clearly I haven't. Standing in the second cart of the train. Okay, yeah, he was standing right here and he's gone now. He told me to watch out for the shy guys. Oh. So this one, I defeated the shy guy in freedom, but then he's still, like, standing there. I don't know. Oh, okay. I was supposed to hit him. That was dumb. <laughs> was that literally it? Or is he, like, at the back of the train now? Because I don't think he said his name. Maybe he said his name before when I first rescued him, and I just didn't realize I had to hit him at the back of the train. Well, let's just try to exit and see what happens. We'll go back to Port Prisma and talk to the the head of the rescue squad. Oh, never mind. It just says there. All red rescue squads have gathered at the circus. Excellent. So we are all set up to tackle the Emerald Circus when we play this again on Monday. But for right now, that is the end of the stream. I'm already a fair amount over, which is fine. I don't work tomorrow, so not a big deal that I sleep a little late. So thank you everyone for joining me. Thanks new people for coming by, Exo and Memphis. If you liked it here, be sure to give me a follow. Come back and chat again sometime. Uh, tomorrow I will be, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be playing. It's supposed to be my community day, but I've had a hard time getting people to play the games with. So I think for temporarily, I might just change Saturday to a play whatever the hell I feel like day. In which case, Maybe I'll be playing, maybe I'll actually just play the indie game that I'm planning to play on Sunday already and play it for both days, West of Dead, which just came out. Uh, I'm excited to give that a shot. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow if you want to come by for a community day or do whatever day or whatever the hell I decide to do. Otherwise, I will see you on um, Monday if you just want to see hopefully the rest of Paper Mario Color Splash. I think we might finish it on Monday. Depends on how long that very last level is. And the circus level, I guess, as well. Uh, so thank you again for coming, and I will see you guys later. Bye!